Believing in yourself is more than just a feeling. It's a special skill, a profound way of thinking about life. How much you achieve depends a lot on how much confidence you have in yourself. Not believing in yourself can silently ruin your hopes and dreams. Think about how often natural ability, ready to do amazing things, is held back by fear and doubt. In today's challenge, we are looking for ways to become the best versions of ourselves. I want to start by thanking you for watching this video. You are already on the path to improving your life through Stoicism. If you are watching for the first time, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you find value in these words, please subscribe and click the bell to stay updated. 1. Understanding Self-Confidence Let's first discover what self-confidence really means. Self-confidence doesn't suddenly appear. It comes from knowing and accepting who you are. Stoic philosophy says that self-confidence comes from knowing and accepting our good and bad points and using them to our advantage. This ancient advice tells us that true confidence is something we find within ourselves, not something that comes from others liking or praising us. Epictetus, a famous Stoic philosopher, said that we shouldn't stress about things we can't control. Instead, we should work on what we can change, such as our attitudes, thoughts, and actions. This way of thinking helps us deal better with life's tough times and makes us stronger. Another important part of self-reliance is being genuine. It's important to be honest about who you are, what you believe in, and what you truly want. When you live by your own rules, not what others expect from you, you create a strong sense of inner peace and stability, which is key to true confidence. Self-reflection and self-judgment are also important for becoming more confident. By looking inward, we can see what we need to work on and be proud of what we've done well. This continuous process of learning and growth helps us know what we can do and overcome our doubts. Being resilient when we fail or face problems is also a key part of self-confidence. Stoicism teaches us to see problems as opportunities to learn and improve. Accepting and learning from our failures instead of fearing them makes us stronger and more prepared for what comes next. Finally, self-confidence grows by doing things. The Stoics said that merely thinking about ideas is not enough. You need to actually use them. So try to apply these ideas every day. By facing what scares you, making brave decisions, and living according to your beliefs, you'll develop real and lasting confidence. 2. Understanding Yourself Understanding yourself is the first step. Explore what it really means to be self-aware as you build self-confidence. Stoic self-examination is not just about analyzing yourself. It's about discovering who you truly are at your core. It's not about what you can do, but who you really are. Epictetus tells us to look closely, discover our true motivations and fears. True self-confidence comes from this honest and deep understanding of oneself. Let's think about how important it is to know yourself well. It's more than just knowing your strengths and weaknesses. You need to see how these connect with what you believe. The key stoic idea is this. True self-confidence comes from this alignment. How can we use this in our daily lives? Start by thinking about your initial reactions when things get tough. Ask yourself, am I reacting impulsively or am I acting according to what I truly believe? Self-confidence grows from these everyday choices where you act not because you're scared or want to impress but because you know yourself and are honest. Think before you react. Take a moment and ask yourself, is this really me and what I believe? Every time you make a thoughtful choice, you're not just building your confidence, but also being true to yourself. Remember, becoming confident starts with a basic but solid step, understanding yourself. It takes time, patience, and most importantly, honesty with yourself. On this journey, you'll face hard truths, but also discover strengths and abilities you didn't know you had. As you learn about yourself, Understand that it's okay not to know everything and to feel vulnerable at times. Being okay with uncertainty and knowing your limits is important for personal growth. 
This type of acceptance frees you to try new things and leads to experiences that can change how you see yourself and the world. Another key part of knowing yourself is understanding how powerful your thoughts and beliefs are. How you interpret what happens, how you talk to yourself, and what you believe about yourself and your abilities really affect your confidence. If you start having positive internal dialogues and question your doubts about yourself, you can begin to change. Being self-aware also means recognizing and appreciating your emotions. Emotions tell you a lot about what truly matters to you and what scares you. If you listen to your feelings and understand why you have them, you can learn a lot about what motivates you and what you truly desire. Ultimately, understanding yourself leads to being genuine, sticking to your values, and always being yourself. This isn't always easy, especially when others expect you to act a certain way. However, by being true to yourself, you grow more confident and create stronger, more honest connections with others. 3. Accepting things you can't control It's really about understanding that some things are simply out of our hands. This makes us pay more attention to what we're good at and what we can do. Having this mindset makes us feel more in control and independent, showing us that although we can't control everything in life, we can always choose how we respond. In real life, this could mean letting go of past anger or worries about what's to come, understanding that we can't redo the past nor predict the future, but we can improve our life now by what we do today. Additionally, being kind to yourself, especially when things go wrong, is key to gaining confidence. Knowing that everyone makes mistakes, and that's how we learn, keeps you thinking clearly and helps you move forward with purpose. In the end, accepting things helps you live more honestly. When you stop trying to control what you can't, you have more energy to live according to what you believe and follow what you truly love. This makes life more fulfilling and rewarding, and confidence naturally grows by living with honesty and a clear goal. Being okay with things you can't change and working on things you can is an excellent way to become more confident. It shows you to pay attention to what you do and to be at peace, knowing that you can't control everything, but you can control how you react. In this way, you not only grow in confidence, but also in wisdom and calm, leading to a richer and more meaningful life. 4. Focusing well Focusing well means paying attention to what is really important and ignoring the rest. Stoic thinking tells us how good our life is depends a lot on what we focus on. It's about choosing wisely, deciding what's worth our energy and what's not. As Marcus Aurelius said, our life is shaped by our thoughts. Paying attention to what is really important requires regular practice and self-control. With so many distractions around us, maintaining focus is hard. This is where Stoic methods really help by teaching your mind to overlook unnecessary things making you better at focusing on your real goals and dreams. To avoid distractions, first find out what's capturing your attention, such as social media, worrying too much, or trying to please everyone. After identifying these, take real steps to reduce their effect. This could include having times when you don't use technology or learning to say no to things that don't align with what you believe. You can also improve your focus by doing certain exercises. Meditation is a good way to teach your mind to concentrate on the now. Another useful thing is to decide what you really need to do each day by asking yourself, what is the main thing I need to finish today? Keeping this focus makes everything you do more intentional and helps build your confidence as you live life your way. Remember, focusing is not just a skill, it's a way of life. By paying attention to what's really important and ignoring other things, you not only achieve more, but also find inner calm, which is really important for feeling confident. This is how Stoics see the importance of focus. 5. Building Resilience Stoicism teaches us a great lesson. Resilience is not something you're born with. You develop it. Stoic resilience is more than just surviving tough times. It's about turning problems into opportunities for improvement. As Seneca said, it's not what happens to you, but how you handle it that truly shows who you are. In Stoicism, 
It's really important to learn from mistakes. Every problem or difficult situation is actually a hidden lesson. When you face tough times, instead of getting discouraged, think, what can this teach me? Thinking this way turns every mistake into a step towards improvement and helps you be stronger when things are tough. Being resilient really means practicing stoic resilience. You don't run away or get scared of challenges. You face them head on. Every time you overcome a problem or face a fear, you become stronger and more confident. Keep in mind, being resilient is not just about getting through tough times. It's about learning to make the most of them. Using resilience every day can look different. It might be doing a job you've been putting off or dealing with something big like overcoming a loss. In each situation, think like a stoic. It's not what happens that's important, but how you handle it. So, when you encounter tough times, face them with confidence, understanding that every difficult situation is an opportunity to improve and strengthen yourself. This is what stoic resilience is about, turning tough times into strength and problems into paths to follow. Stay strong and you'll notice your confidence grows more than ever. Being resilient also means accepting things, knowing that life won't always be simple or fair, but understanding that we can get through tough times. This acceptance is not about giving up, but realizing that tough times are part of life and that we are strong enough to handle them. Moreover, being strong like a stoic means thinking long-term instead of just focusing on today's problems. Problems are an opportunity to look ahead and understand how these difficult moments can help you grow and improve later on. Being grateful is another excellent way to become more resilient. When you think about what you have instead of what you lack, you can stay positive even when times are tough. This gratitude helps you see problems differently as opportunities to learn and improve. Strength gets stronger with the help of others and being part of a community. When you're surrounded by people who support and understand you, it's really helpful during tough times. These connections not only make you feel better, but also remind you that you're not facing challenges entirely alone. In conclusion, practicing stoic resilience is a commitment to keep growing. It means seeing every experience, whether happy or difficult, as a learning opportunity about yourself and everything around you. This attitude helps you embrace life's ups and downs, trusting that you can handle and succeed despite any obstacle. In summary, Stoic resilience is an excellent way to go through life. It teaches us to face tough times, learn from them, and use them to grow and become more confident. Being resilient not only helps us overcome difficulties, but also makes us stronger, smarter, and more self-assured. 6. Cultivating Humility When trying to be confident, it's easy to start acting with too much pride. But true confidence doesn't need to be arrogant. Being humble, which is really important in Stoic philosophy, is one of the best qualities a person can have. As Epictetus mentioned, if you think you know everything, you can't learn anything new. Humility allows you to learn, improve, and truly connect with others. The choice between humility and arrogance is not choosing between weakness and strength. It's about realizing your own limits and appreciating the knowledge and value of others. A humble person knows that no matter how much they know or how skilled they are, there's always something more to learn, always a way to improve. Epictetus tells us that being humble is not about putting yourself down, but about seeing yourself clearly, understanding both your value and that you're not the most important person in the world. Cultivating humility day by day can be difficult, especially when people care more about how things look than what they really are. Try to listen more and talk less, respect what others think, and accept that you don't always need to be right. When you do something well, also give credit to others. Remember, every person you meet knows things and has experiences you don't have. When you cultivate your humility, you build your confidence in a stable and lasting way. You become more open, flexible, and interestingly, People respect and admire you more. Being truly humble not only makes you a better person, but also improves how you connect with others. So, 
work on being humble. It's the stoic way towards real and deep confidence. Being humble also means seeing and praising the achievements and good points of other people. By doing this, we not only show that we respect them, but also learn to see how each person contributes something different and valuable. This helps us understand the value of how different each person is and that one person's success doesn't mean less for another. Being humble means admitting that we don't know everything and that sometimes we need help from others with more experience or knowledge. It's a sign of strength, not weakness. Being open to learning from others and working together makes our relationships and our own growth stronger. Being humble also involves reflecting on our own actions, acknowledging when we're wrong and working to correct things. It's really important for self-improvement. This type of honest self-evaluation helps build true confidence that comes from understanding our strengths and weaknesses. This includes being grateful for what we have, for our friends and family, and for the opportunities that come our way. It helps us focus on what's really important. This gratitude keeps us connected with other people and with the world, helping us feel that we're part of a larger group. In summary, being humble is a really important stoic quality for developing good and lasting confidence. It helps us appreciate ourselves without thinking too highly of ourselves, always learning from others and our surroundings, and treating people with respect and honesty. Cultivating humility makes us better people and helps make the world a more caring, respectful, and connected place. Especially when people care more about how things look than what they really are. Try to listen more and talk less. Respect what others think. And accept that you don't always need to be right. When you do something well, give credit to others as well. Remember, every person you meet knows things and has experiences that you don't. When you cultivate your humility, you build your confidence in a stable and enduring way. You become more open, flexible, and interestingly, people respect and admire you more. Being truly humble not only makes you a better person, but also improves how you connect with others. So, work on being humble. It's the stoic way towards real and profound confidence. 7. Living according to your personal beliefs. Knowing and living according to your personal beliefs is crucial. Real and lasting confidence comes from living in a way that matches your most important beliefs. It's not enough to know what you believe. You need to act on it daily. This means being honest and true to yourself, something that Stoics consider very important. Epictetus once said that talking about doing the right thing is not enough. You have to actually do it. Personal values are super important. They're like a compass that helps you choose, act, and shape your life. Think about what values are most important to you, such as being honest, loyal, brave, or kind. Identify your core values and commit to living in accordance with them. Living with integrity means that what you do and say matches your beliefs and values. This is difficult, especially when others push you to go against what you believe. But every time you choose to be true to yourself instead of taking the easy path, you feel better about yourself. You prove to yourself that your beliefs are real and important in your life. To make your actions match what you think is right, start with small steps in your daily life. If being honest is important to you, always tell the truth, even when it's difficult. If you care about being kind, try to help others and be kind even if no one sees it. Doing these small good things regularly helps you become the person you want to be. Remember, following your values is a continuous process, not a final goal. You may make mistakes along the way, but the important thing is to recognize these mistakes and grow from them. When you establish and adhere to your own values, you not only become more confident as you truly are, but also become a role model for others. Staying true to your values is the key to a happy, purposeful, and confident life. Living according to your values means being truthful when you talk to people, keeping your promises, and behaving in a way that shows what matters to you. Matching what you do with what you believe not only gives you inner peace, but also makes others trust you more. Living in line with your values also means being responsible for what you do and what happens as a result. You show your dedication to your values 
by accepting your mistakes and correcting things. Regularly thinking about your actions is very important. When you take the time to think about what you've done and decided, it helps you ensure that you're living in accordance with your values. This regular check is an excellent way to continue growing and improving. 8. Practicing Gratitude Daily A key element in Stoicism and in building self-confidence is practicing gratitude. It's not just about being thankful for the big things in life, but also appreciating the small moments and blessings. Marcus Aurelius once said, When you wake up in the morning, think about what a precious privilege it is to be alive, to breathe, think, enjoy, and love. Start each day by listing three things you're grateful for. It could be something as simple as a sunny day, a good cup of coffee, or the smile of a loved one. This practice shifts your focus from what you lack to what you have, fostering a positive mindset. Gratitude also involves recognizing the efforts of others. Acknowledge the support and kindness you receive, whether from friends, family, or even strangers. Expressing your gratitude towards them strengthens relationships and builds a supportive community around you. Another aspect of gratitude is appreciating the challenges you face. Instead of seeing them as obstacles, view them as opportunities to learn and grow. This perspective not only builds resilience, but also deepens your understanding and appreciation for the complexities of life. 9. Embracing Learning and Curiosity Confidence grows when you expand your knowledge and skills. A stoic approach to learning is not just about academic pursuit. It's about being curious about the world and yourself. Epictetus emphasized the importance of learning when he said that only the educated are free. Commit to learning something new every day. It could be a fact, a skill, or a perspective. This continuous learning keeps your mind active and engaged and helps you adapt to new situations more easily. Curiosity also means being open to different viewpoints. Interact with people who have different experiences and beliefs. This not only broadens your understanding, but also teaches you empathy and respect for diversity. Remember, learning is a lifelong journey. There's always something new to discover, and each piece of knowledge adds to your confidence and wisdom. In summary, building self-confidence through Stoicism involves practicing resilience, humility, living according to your personal beliefs, and embracing continuous learning and curiosity. These principles guide you towards a fuller, more resilient and confident life, where challenges are opportunities, and every moment is a chance to grow and improve. In conclusion, deciding and following your personal values is very important for true and strong confidence. It guides you and gives meaning to your life. By acting according to your values, you improve yourself and make a positive impact on others. This dedication to your values leads to a satisfying and meaningful life full of confidence. If any part of this message has been helpful to you, leave us your like and comment, helping the algorithm recommend it to someone who needs it at this time. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss new videos. And if you look through the videos we've already uploaded, you're sure to find something to take with you and will also help you achieve a stoic mindset.